well, according to HubSpot.com, out of 500 million people using Instagram stories each day, one third of the most viewed Instagram stories are from businesses. So if done right, Instagram stories can catch on like wildfire. So it's no surprise businesses have been quick to make Instagram stories a central aspect of their marketing strategies. You can see every business around you leveraging stories to the fullest. You see them posting content each day, trying new stuff, basically trying their level best to get more views. Well, you try them too, but where your Instagram story views not increasing. You can see your follower count increasing each day, but not your story views. And you must be asking yourself, am I missing something here? And if you aren't asking yourself that question, maybe you haven't figured out why you should be even bothered about story views anyway. I mean, they're just stories, right? Wrong. A few years back, it was pretty easy to get views on your stories. There was a huge gap between demand and supply. This means not a lot of creators were leveraging Instagram stories, but right now, you as a business have to compete with thousands of other content creators out there who are making Instagram stories their priority each day. Hence, it's difficult for your stories to rank among the top ones. This means that your story is technically not visible to your audience as Instagram is not pushing your stories here. Stories are an interesting way to regularly keep in touch with your audience. Once your audience sees you regularly, they would prefer to reach out to you more than your competitors. In short, the more interactions you do with your audience, the more human your brand becomes. This human touch to your stories brings higher engagement and sends a signal to Instagram that your content is good and thereby increasing your organic reach. So keep on watching as I reveal to you how you can make your stories rank among the top, which will ultimately give Instagram a clear indication that your content is good, thus giving your organic reach a boost. And here are the six tips that I curated just for you. And don't miss out on the sixth one because uh, that's my favorite. So let's go. So the tip number one is use all the different widgets that Instagram has in its library. Most people skim through the Instagram stories like this. Now, obviously you want your audience to engage with your stories and not just cap away without understanding what you are attempting to say. The best way to do this is to include your audience in your stories. And what can be a better way than asking people for their opinions? Because trust me, everyone loves Everyone, everyone loves giving their opinion on the internet. And to reduce the friction even further, you could just conduct a poll. Why? Because everyone loves voting. Not in the general election, but on the internet they do. You can also ask a question with you know this particular question widget. Use funny stickers, host this or that games, or use an emoji slider and ask them to rate just about anything. For example, here is an interesting way. Mad over marketing used the questions feature. They asked users to give them a song lyric and they responded with the brand that related most to the song. Sounds interesting, right? Not only did they receive a lot of responses from their audiences, but they received immense engagement as well. In short, make your audience engage with your story. That's how they stick around. And that brings us to our tip number two, and that is frequency of stories. Here's a question for you. How many stories do you put each day? If your stories look like this, uh, you are doing just fine. But if your stories look like this, you are just scaring people away. Instagram stories are the type of content that is supposed to be consumed rapidly. Once you start posting more than 10 stories, two things can happen. One, the line indicating the number of stories turns into dots, which trust me is not a very pleasant sight. And two, your audience would not engage with you because nobody likes a spammer. If your stories are nothing but first to your viewers, they would just skip through them to more interesting stories. So keep it just four to five stories each day. With that, it's time for our tip number three, which is feature comments. If you have been posting content regularly and have a decent follower base, your audience might leave comments on your posts and also DM you. Feature those comments in your stories, but how is this helpful? When your audience sees that you have featured them on your stories and also given them a shout out, it will compel them to leave comments in the future as well in order to get featured, thus increasing the engagement on your stories as well as on your posts. This also acts as a social proof telling other people that you are legit and thus increasing the traffic on your page. For example, look at Starbucks India and how they level stories to post people's favorite Starbucks experiences. By doing so, they one, gain trust among other people by showing social proof and two, they had fun time with their existing audience. Number four, behind the scene. Think about your favorite movie. I bet you like hearing the juicy details that went on during the filming. Understanding the director's thought process and passions bring an extra layer to the movie so that when you are finally watching it, you feel all warm and fuzzy that you know a little bit more than you know what others know. Remember the last time your favorite brand gave you a behind the scenes look at a new product they were developing. Well, it most likely would have helped you have a better sense of understanding of them and the culture that exists within their company. For example, look at this story. I put asking which cover page looks better for my book. This. What I just did here is also one of the ways of doing a pre-pre-launch as mentioned in the book, launch, 
by Jeff Walker. Also, I would recommend you reading this particular book because the book is too good. Anyway, the book states that once we start asking for the opinion of our audience and start giving little sneak peeks of the product we are launching in the future, people start feeling that they are being included in the process of launching. And that's how they become the loyal advocates of the products. Basically, you got the engagement as well as the word of mouth for your product. What else would one want? People buy from people. People connect with people. Showing your brand as a genuine person with actual ideas, visions and aspirations as well as your motivations for waking up every day make you far more relatable. With that, we move on to number 5. Make an obvious spelling mistake. People love pointing out mistakes and this is not a joke. If you commit an obvious spelling error in your content, it is more likely that people slide into your DMs just to correct you. A fun fact, it's a tried and tested thing. We put up stories with spelling mistakes and the engagement rate is always insane. Now let's move on to number six and this is my favorite trick. Leverage the new like feature. Unless you have been living under a rock, you would know that Instagram launched the like feature for stories just recently. And guess what? These tiny like buttons on the bottom left of your stories can do wonders to boost your engagement. Here's what you have to do. Next time you put up stories on your business account, try adding a CTA that asks the viewer to like your story. You could use an arrow or a GIF or anything that compels the viewer to hit the like button. By doing so, Instagram would clearly know that people are liking your stories, compelling Instagram to push your stories to the top. Now here is the pro tip. Airbnb, Lego, NASA, National Geographic, Nike, Starbucks, Sephora and of course Instagram itself are some of the brands that leverage stories to the fullest. Follow them to know what they put out as content and the best practices to ensure your stories are as powerful as they can be. So to put it simply, the question was how to get more views on your Instagram story. Honestly, all you need is to be creative, experiment, try new things and always track the reaction of your audience. And that's pretty much it. Well, of course, organic reach is the best, but one of the best ways to grow Instagram is to put your money on Facebook ads. But don't worry, I have prepared a beginner friendly course on Facebook ads just for you. And that covers all the basics and concepts of Facebook ads and you know how to grow your business using Instagram. So here's the course. You can click over here and you'll be redirected straight to my playlist. And you can also follow me on all my other social media channels uh, to get you know tips on digital marketing, Facebook ads and everything. Until next time, bye bye.